Continuing our team coverage is CBS 4's Mike Cuno, live in Coral Gables. Hey, Mike, what can you tell us is happening there? Well, Steve, it looks like this protest here is moving a little bit. We were on this other side of the park, but now, right now, you can see all these protesters, a few hundred, have come over to City Hall here in Coral Gables. As you can see, uh, the, the police department is outside here greeting them. Now, throughout the day, it has been a very peaceful protest. Right now, they're all taking a knee over here off to our left, Claudia, as you can see. They actually held a moment of silence today for roughly nine minutes to to uh, mark the nine minutes that Officer Derek Chauvin's knee was on uh, George Floyd's neck. As you can see, there are a mixed group of people, uh, Latin, African-American, white here. The, the message we heard from people throughout the day was that it, you didn't have to be African-American to be upset. You just had to be a human to understand how upsetting those images in Minneapolis were. It's important to want to be peaceful, but at the same time, you have to understand where the violence comes from when you do see it. I understand a lot of the politicians have been big on peaceful protests, but like, like uh, Stokely Carmichael said, any violence is only effective if your opponent has a conscience. And so it's, it can be made that maybe our opponent doesn't have a conscience. We all stand for each other. We understand that there's other people who want to make a mess, but we all understand that we're all a community. We're all here for each other. No matter what, after all the mess that happens, we all still come back together as a community and help each other out. All right, back out here in Coral Gables, we are just outside the footsteps of City Hall. These protesters taking a knee, yelling, I can't breathe right now, in front of the Coral Gables Police Department. Now, this protest has been largely in joint with the police department here. They have set up the barricades as they march down Coral Way back here to this park and now here to City Hall. And I will say this, that uh, Chief of Police of Coral Gables, Edward Hudak, put out a message today that said if protests got violent, if property was damaged, that local, state and federal uh, officials would be called in to help take care of this. But I must say, very peaceful here in Coral Gables, everyone being very respectful of everyone. In Coral Gables, Mike Cunha, CBS 4 News.